One of the things that I found about deep survival is that people from all walks of life are interested in it because the principles apply in everyday life and in business and everywhere you look they apply. The reason for that is because at the heart it's about how you think and how you make decisions. The better you're able to stay calm and not panic, the better you're able to make good decisions. Reason and emotion work like a seesaw. The higher the emotion, the lower your ability to reason. So in a high state of stress, you literally can't remember your own phone number. So these things apply whether you're you know, losing your business, getting a divorce, being diagnosed with cancer. All of these situations produce stress, and so you have to learn to be calm and think clearly. The best way to put these things into practice is to put them into your daily life. You can't uh, suddenly find yourself stranded on a mountain and say, now's a good time to become a good survivor and learn how to be calm. You have to be doing it day by day. So if you find that you're the kind of person who, oh, let's say you're in a traffic jam and you find yourself pounding the steering wheel and screaming at the other drivers, this is not a good sign. Uh, you can begin to learn to approach uh, life's challenges calmly and think through logically what you should do. Well, how, how can this benefit you? This is another trait of survivors. They're always looking for opportunity even in adversity. So when bad things happen, the real survivor is going to say, okay, I got it, this bad thing happened now. How can I turn that to my advantage? Or how can I learn from this? And how can I come out the other end even better? One of the other things that survivors do is that they tend to find a good balance between their gut instincts and their ability to reason. Sometimes people will go into a situation and they will get a feeling, something's not right here on this ski slope. I don't like the look of that mountain. Uh, I've heard this from firefighters a lot. They approach a fire and they'll say, you know, there was something just I didn't like about it. I couldn't say why, but we didn't go in and then the house exploded. Um, well, this is a gut instinct. It's a, it's a kind of perception that lay, lies below the level of consciousness, but that's quite valid nevertheless. So not everything can be, be explained logically. So even while you have to be able to use logic and reason, you have to constantly pay attention to those subliminal signals that are trying to tell you something important. Mm -hmm.